so I don't know where it's like where you are right now, but holy crap, it is hot here. I think we have a heat index of like 100 degrees and my car doesn't have air and I've been running around. I'm basically a human waterfall at this point, but of course, that's not what we're talking about today. Hey everybody, my name is Deanna and I've been thinking a lot about children and how they are so active in their imaginations and they can come up with some of the greatest scenarios. It's just, it's crazy. Over the last couple of weeks, anytime I thought about something that I had believed in as a child, I've been writing them down so I can share them with you guys and see if maybe you had some ones that were weirder or if not just as weird. Okay, so one of them came to me the other day while we were in Walmart going past the candy aisle. And you know those symphony bars that look something like this? Oh, symphony bar. Well, I thought that those bars were the thing that you sent to somebody else when they had a loved one die. It wasn't until a couple years later that I realized that symphony and sympathy are two different words. <laughs> so I guess as a eight year old, I was just like, you know, sorry for whoever you knew that died. Here's a bar of chocolate. Makes it better. Well, I mean, you know, to me, chocolate fixed everything. I don't know why it couldn't. So another thing that I believed whenever I was a child was, you know, pretty much everybody in their town has a street named after Martin Luther King. You know, MLK Boulevard, sometimes it's abbreviated, sometimes it's written all the way out. Well, the one in my town here is abbreviated, it just says MLK Boulevard. And whenever I was little, I thought I was hot shit because I knew how to spell and whoever made that sign didn't because they totally spelled milk wrong. <laughs> And that was my favorite street because I knew I was right and I knew I was a smarty pants and knew how to spell it and they didn't, so. So you know when you get where you go to Google and there's that I'm feeling lucky button at the bottom? Well, I thought that that was gambling because I had always heard the word lucky associated with gambling. So I didn't want to be in trouble, you know, because I was under 18. I didn't want to be the 10 year old that was gambling, so I never touched it. Okay, and this last one, I, I don't know if I had any reasoning for it, but I just remembered it was something that I believed whenever I was little. So whenever I was probably say eight to 10 years old, I had this notion that, you know, okay, whenever you go up to a door handle, you usually have a certain way that you turn it. You know, right-handed people usually will turn to the right. I think left-handed people usually turn to the left, you know, unless it's stuck or jammed or whatever. Well, I had this notion that if you turned it the opposite direction and you were special enough that it would take you into a place kind of like Narnia. I don't think I actually knew about Narnia back then, but I believed it would take you to this other world with magical creatures. And But it was only if you were special enough. So I, re I remember whenever I was little, if nobody was around looking, because you know, you had to keep it a secret, I would start to turn a door handle, but then I would think, wait a second, maybe I'm special enough today. So I would turn it the other direction and slowly open it and look inside, but of course I'd get disappointed every time because it never took me to Narnia. I really don't know where I got the idea for that though. Like I don't remember if it was a story I read or what, but I was a special child, but not special enough to go to Narnia. So I mean, do you guys have any weird things like that? And if you do, you know, let me know I'm not alone. Tell me in the comments below and um, I'm gonna go try and stay cool today because I feel like I am the human puddle right now of sweat and it's gross. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you later. everybody, like I said, my name is Deanna. If you enjoyed that video, please go down below, give it a thumbs up, or you can click, and you can click right here to subscribe if you liked it, and see whenever I make my next video. So VidCon's coming up, yeah, in four weeks. I cannot wait. I'm going with three of my really good friends that I've met over YouTube and Tumblr, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be rocking. It's gonna be hopefully not that hot, but it's gonna be rocking, so if you're gonna be there, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye!